Okay, so we are in the front of the shop now, and you're going to talk me through your display. This is our display. First of all, we've got the invisible fish. As you can see, it's a, it's a Wednesday invisible morning. fish. Um, we, we do fresh fish, unusually, for a butcher shop. We yeah. started it about 20 years ago. You're so ago. close to the coast, aren't you, I suppose, really? We are, but it's still a very difficult trade to be in fish. Is it? I, I understand why there's not many fishmongers. I suppose it doesn't keep that long, does it? It doesn't keep that long, yeah. and it's very difficult to source it, to be honest. Is it? It is very Is that big. right? It is. It's hard work, yeah. yeah. So um, we do fish from a Thursday, right. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we have the uh, fresh fish. Right, so, and dressed yeah, crab as well, see. I know it's yeah, on the side. Yeah, lobster crab. available to order. Do you sell many lobsters? Not really, no. Special occasions. Yeah, yeah. Special it's a lot It's a lot of faff in a lobster. I've only ever had it once. Yeah. And I was I, like, oh, this is a lot of effort for a little bit of meat. I couldn't boil a lobster. Like no, that. oh no, that's true, actually. That. No, I couldn't no, do that either, something. really. Yes. But the rest right. of it then, the boys wow. are Look at this. almost finished the, yeah. the display. Oh, this looks amazing. So talk me through how this works and well, you've got to order this is, uh, chicken. This is your traditional joint so obviously yeah. fresh chickens, you can see a nice... Uh, amazing cut of beef. Oh, wow, look at that. Lanska beef is... Uh, Lanska beef, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, what's that? Is that We've the farm or it. the that's area? A, that is a Lanska line. Right. Going through Pembrokeshire. <laughs> And uh, Carmarthenshire, yeah. where it's a border where there was castles years, years and years ago. Okay. There's castles, and it's called the Lanska Line. So we've just marketed right. our beef as Lanska beef. Oh, we'll okay. Sort, uh, oh, yeah. I see it over the back there, Lanska beef. Yeah. Welsh lamb, leg of lamb. We just saw that earlier. Yeah, that's what obviously one that's just cut in half. You can see the shank and the filling. Yeah. There. Yeah. You've got so, all the cuts, here, haven't you? You've got sirloin yeah. at the back, the ribeye, rumps. That's an interesting question for you. Okay. If you were going to choose a steak to have, you've got a choice between sirloin, uh, ribeye, and rump. Which would you go for? That's easy. Which one? Ribeye. Ribeye. That's the, and, and why is that? So it's obviously quite a premium cut. It's just, it's just got full of flavour. It's tender. Mm. Full yeah. of flavour. It's got that line of uh, the fat in it and okay. it just gives it the flavour. Rib I've had a rib ribeye joint, roasting joint. And yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely lovely. Well, there's obviously your ribeye. Wow, look at that bad boy. Stick that in the, the oven. Rib, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you got the rolled pork in the front. Yeah, obviously because it's a Wednesday morning, we don't sell a lot of dressing. So Friday no. and Saturday, that would be right. That's packed. your main that, where yeah, we'll go traditionally because that's when the joints are being bought. Which obviously in midweek, we don't put many joints in. So going and on then through, starts, then you've got the lamb. Your lamb chops. Oh yeah, lovely lamb chops. Your pork chops. There's what we just cut up as a. That's what we saw up earlier. Chops. Yeah. Off the top okay. of the leg. That's the equivalent in pork. Wow, look at these. And you go on there to Gosh, the Iceland, everything is. It's a really lovely display, I'm not just saying that. It is, Thank you. you know, yeah. really good to see this because you don't often see this sort of butcher shop, do you, in every high street nowadays? You know, a lot no. of them have disappeared, no, really. We're, yeah, we're a rare breed now, I think. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, this we're is fantastic. I mean, this on. is, to be honest, it's a bit like rural pubs and stuff. You've got to move with the times and give people what they want. and. They want a nice, clean, bright shop yeah. with a good display, and also someone like yourself who's easy to talk to and isn't kind of intimidating. You know, you want you want to be able to have a chat yeah. and go, "What do you think is the good cut to have?" and everything like that. That, that really. is key, isn't it? That is key. And and as I said, we're, we're traditional butchers, but you have to diversify. Yeah. We can't just sell. No. Just your, your ordinary cuts. We have got. To well, this is real diversification here, isn't yes, it? On the right. Look right. at this. Yeah, no, this is a, Obviously we've got all our sausages. We've got the sausages. We normally oh. buy half a dozen flavours. I'm buying some I'm buying a bit of loads of stuff. I got a barbecue order. There's our most famous one, the Narbut sausage. Oh, in the back. I love some of those. So is that a special recipe? That is. Is it, is it a secret recipe? No, it's not secret. Pork leek, tomato and basil. Wow, oh it's so yeah. lovely. We started that. There's a local food festival yeah. going yeah. in Narbut every September. Yeah. And that's been going now about 22 years, 21 years, I think. And we always produce a, a different flavour sausage each year. And that was the very first one. And I was struggling to get a name for it. Mm. And a customer came and said, well, it's your Narbeth sausage. So that, that's Narbeth that, sausage, that's, that's that. nice, isn't it? Exactly. There it is, look at it, a big bad boy at the back. Yeah. Let's so, yeah, so uh, zoom in on that, the Narbeth sausage. So if you come on holiday to Bluestone like I have, come here and buy a Narbeth sausage. <laughs> And coming on round, look at this. And then this is where Hunter's we chicken. Oh, you got pre-packed. That's a good idea. Pre-packed. Yeah, we just just Hunter's for shelf chicken. Life. Yeah, just to keep them sort of uh, looking fresh and. Keep wow, them. what are these beef truffles? Yes. What are they? Something new. Yeah. So that's like a. Uh, is that mince in there? Well, this is a. Uh, 
Alan is the chief man who does all right, all Alan, stuff. did you invent the beef truffle? I invented most of the stuff. Did you? Yeah. Uh, come on here, come and have a chat. Come and have a chat. So you, are you the man behind this little counter here, are you? Yeah, you just got to experiment. Well, we got, got chicken, Henry. Chicken stuff of feta yeah. cheese, cream cheese. Oh, and mate, and that's pepper. awesome. Cracked black pepper seasoning, the French garden sauce, stuff of cheddar cheese, and then the mushroom sauce uh, and ham with a pepper glaze on the other chicken there. Beautiful Gosh. stuff. Wow, it's really so the beef, the beef truffles. So what have we got there? So uh, minced the, beef, yeah. crack, crack black pepper seasoning, yeah. French garden sauce, stuffed with cheddar cheese, red onion, and spring oh, onion. Oh, so lovely. Yeah. Not too pricey either. Two quid. That's not two bad, quid, is yeah. it? I think that's a good deal, really. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. We've got a different array of beers as yeah. well. You've got the plain Pembroke beef burgers. Yeah. You've got lamb and mint. You've got Texan, which is barbecue sauce, Texan, bacon, right. and cheese. Oh. Our new ones: pork, apple, and cider. Wow. And then cracked black pepper and blue still. Do you know what you need? You need a Narberth burger to go with a Narberth <laughs> sausage, don't you? I reckon if I come here all day again, I need to come and get a Narberth burger to we go with the sausage. Okay, hey? we will, yeah. And yeah. coming up, wow, look, I just I keep turning well, around and seeing more. Obviously, we're in the middle of the summer, so yeah. yeah. Oh my That's goodness me. The rest this time of year is all the barbecue. Look at the kebabs. Gee. Yeah. Wow, they're lovely. And also, coming on round, Hell of a display, really, isn't it? Yeah, Look at the pies. This is our little pot oh. meat area there. So we've got massive steak and gravy butchers, pie. Butchers pies. My <laughs> mouth is watering on this. And homemade faggots. You, homemade faggot. You guys, no wonder you've got nice. so many staff. You're so busy doing we are all busy, this. Yes, we are busy. And then we do lunchtime. Then we do a, a carvery. No way. Yes. This shop doesn't stop, does it? We do a carvery. Yeah. Oh, mate. I tell you what. I don't. Have you? You, have you won. You won some awards, haven't you? We have. Yes, what award have you lucky. won? We were actually awarded um, Best Butcher Shop in the UK a few years ago. No way! Yeah, we you didn't tell me that before? No, no. Quite best Butcher Shop yeah. in the UK? We were, You're yeah. a very modest man, aren't you? Yeah, I was very proud of that. I should think so. Yeah. I mean, I guess the judges came in like I did and just went, wow, 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 wow. Yeah. yeah that is, I mean, the thing is, to do a carvery on the end, that's genius. Yeah. You've got the meat already, haven't you? You're halfway there. Yeah. Really? I did the shop in 2007. Yeah. It was a vision that I had from day one, really. And it took me sort of nearly uh, 20 years to sort of uh, pluck up the courage to do it. And we did a mass, uh, a mass expansion. And we were, I was closed for right. eight weeks yeah. in uh, February 2007, uh, Feb January, February. And um, yeah, we had this because the old shop, there was a door, a little door in the corner right. there. That was the entrance, was, was it? The entrance. Oh, I think it's blocked up outside, isn't it? It's you can all see that. Yeah. yeah. So now we sort of opened it up right. and made it more inviting. Well, customers. it is really nice. I mean, it is again sort of more modern, isn't it? You, yeah. You don't feel intimidated walking in here. No. It's all in front of you. I like the way it's all really clearly priced, actually. Yeah. yeah. The one thing I think people are nervous of is looking at something and going, excuse me, how much is that? Yeah, that's how much right, is yeah. that? And, and you feel a bit embarrassed if you don't buy it and stuff. Whereas if you walk in here, you can sort of look around and you think, oh, I know how much that's going to cost me before you've committed, if you like. Exactly. Just like a supermarket, really, isn't it? You know? this, again, this is a division I have because we spoke earlier about um, particularly the uh, younger house was intimidated of going to a butcher shop. Mm. Um, so we've opened it up. So, so they don't actually have to sort of go no, in. No, no. That's right. You can look through the shop you know, and, and you can pretty well get a good idea of what's going on here before you committed to come in. I, I like your thinking there. I mean, to be honest, you are quite a progressive guy, aren't you? Because you're going forward with what a modern butcher needs to be like, really, rather yes. than the old-fashioned guy with a penny at the back. Yes, what do yeah. you want? I don't think you'd survive that anymore. No. I don't think so, no. You, you've got to diversify and, and move with the times, really. I think you should be really proud of what you achieved here, really. Thank you, yeah. I, and yeah. honestly, I didn't know that you, you were best butcher shop yes. in the UK. Yes. That is a, what a clue. What a result coming here. What, yeah. What a result, the funky farmers come to the best butcher shop in the UK. How about that? Right, I'm going to go and buy some stuff. I'll, um, I'll turn this camera off now because I, I, I want to go and buy some stuff from the shop. But thank you very much, Andrew. I really appreciate okay, it. Pleasure. And your team, all the guys there working behind, working hard. I might even see a customer in a minute. I might have a chat with them if someone early, comes in. Yeah, yeah, what time do they normally rock up? Any time from half eight, nine, you'll always get the have you got have, have you got regulars like oh, come in course, like, yeah, yeah. and you get a good nice bit of chat, don't you, oh, Jane? Of course you do, yeah. I bet this is gossip HQ, isn't it? A Saturday morning, you yeah, between eight and nine, it's, it's fantastic. Brilliant. And all the gossip of what's happening. Well, that's what is a part of being the community, isn't it? Yeah. And that's why it's important on the high street, people that's like true. you, isn't it? That's true. Brilliant. Thank you very much. I can have a cup of tea with you. Yes. And then I'm going to buy some 
barbecue burgers and things like that for my barbie in the rain later. <laughs> Thanks mate. Yeah, wow, well I've just had a fantastic time in there. I have actually got a backpack of stuff on the back of me. Um, I've got sausages, burgers, kebabs, lamb chops. Um, really, really loved it in there. Um, I cannot tell you how nice it is to meet someone who's uh, successful, pleasant to be with and just quite modest actually. He didn't tell me he, he won all these awards, um, but it, you can see why he did. So, um, oh, I see certainly alive here. Um, so I'm heading back to try and have a barbecue in the rain. Um, it is, a, oh, I'm stood in the parking area. It is a horrible wet day. There's a butcher shop behind me. He's going to walk on up the high street. Um, it is a lovely little town actually. I'm just prattling on as I go up so you can see what's behind me. Uh, look, the flags are up. The new hours come in, look, they put the flags up. Um, yeah, so a very nice little video. I, I hope you enjoy seeing the kind of behind the scenes of a, of a family run butcher shop. Um, but also just nice to see successful family um, business really. It's too much of this negativity about um, the high street, but actually if you do things right, work hard, I think you can achieve something that people want to come to. So anyway, anyone's in our berth, come and have a look, go and see his butcher shop, Andrew Reese, and uh, go and buy one of those Narberth burgers or sausages. I've told him to bake the burgers. Narberth burgers be next. Anyway, I'm off. Cheers.